James Allen Crockett Jr. From 1976 to 1987, Jim Crockett Promotions also owned the Charlotte Orioles, a minor league baseball team based in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Winston Salem Polar Twins in the Southern Hockey League from 1974 to 1975. Born to Jim Crockett and Elizabeth. Although Jim Crockett Sr. had decided his son-in-law John Ringley would run JCP, Jim J.R. reluctantly took over ownership of the company that same year. Crockett brought in wrestler George Scott as head booker, and he signed wrestlers from across the country, from veterans such as Wahoo McDaniel to younger wrestlers like Ric Flair. In 1980, Crockett was elected to his first term as NWA president, which ended in 1982. He had a working relationship with Maple Leaf Wrestling, based out of Toronto and owned by Frank Tunney. Until Tunney's death in 1983, Tunney's nephew Jack Tunney switched Maple Leaf Wrestling's working agreement to Vince McMahon's World Wrestling Federation. Crockett then formed a short-lived relationship with Vern Gagne and his American Wrestling Association to form Pro Wrestling USA. Crockett was elected to a second term as NWA president in 1985. He bought Vince McMahon's Saturday night TV time slot on Superstation WTBS and his business began to flourish. During that year, he organized the first annual Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup, in which wrestlers from eight NWA regional territories participated in a day-long tag team tournament at the Louisiana Superdome in New Orleans. The Road Warriors defeated Ron Garvin and Magnum TA after seven and a half hours to win the tournament. Although Crockett had organized the tournament as a tribute to his father, several rival promoters suspected he was using the event to further his own plans for expanding his promotion nationally. Their suspicions increased as Crockett began holding wrestling events in Memphis and Florida. Without contacting the local NWA promoters, he eventually purchased promotions based in Oklahoma and Kansas City in the Mid-South Territory and began airing his own televised wrestling events, which were syndicated across the United States. Crockett was elected to a third term as NWA president in 1987. That same year he bought out Championship Wrestling from Florida and the Universal Wrestling Federation, thus acquiring such talent as wrestler Sting and commentator Jim Ross. Although initially planning to keep the UWF and NWA as separate promotions in order to promote an annual inter-promotional event similar to the Super Bowl, Crockett instead moved the old UWF headquarters from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Dallas, Texas, and incorporated its stars into his own promotion. Crockett promoted his company, JCP, as the NWA, since he owned six NWA territories and was the NWA president. Much to the confusion of fans, by November 1988, Crockett was near bankruptcy and, through promoter Jim Barnett, sold his company to Ted Turner, who renamed it World Championship Wrestling. Crockett remained NWA president until 1991. Crockett attempted a return to wrestling with a wrestling internet broadcast network in 1994 called The World Wrestling Network. It was short-lived and he left the sport for good in 1995. Crockett also brought the NWA back to the Dallas Sportatorium for an equally brief tenure during this time. After his retirement from professional wrestling promoting, Crockett worked as a Texas realtor and mortgage loan originator. On February 28, 2021, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter's Dave Meltzer reported that Crockett was in grave condition. Four days later, Robert Gibson reported that Crockett died due to complications of liver and kidney failure. He was 76. Crockett had also contracted COVID-19 two months earlier, according to his brother David.